All right, these are my predictions for UFC 103. I'm going to try to be quiet because if I get too loud on this cam, this crappy little cam, the sound gets distorted. Dis distorted. All right, first off, really fast with the unaired undercard. Uh, I'm going to pick Rob Emerson. Vladimir Matt Yushchenko, the janitor. Elliot Marshall, Rick Story, even though he's not confirmed to fight Brian Foster, Rafaelio Alveria, and Jim Miller. Now, the UFC is going to do something pretty cool in UFC 103. They're going to show two fights on Spike, which I think is awesome. Uh, usually they don't do stuff like this, and that's a great way to get someone excited about the fights and maybe uh, last minute sign up for the pay-per-view I know uh, WWE used to do that with Heat they used to show Heat on Sunday nights and people would watch a little bit of Heat and they would be leading into the event and they would order the event because they liked the flow of where Heat was going and if they liked the fights on the undercard uh, they'll probably order the pay-per-view so those two fights are going to be uh, Thomas Strahl versus Drew McFreedy's I'm going to go with Thomas Straw, and then Efrain Escudero, Escudero versus Cole Miller. I'm going to go with Cole Miller, although that's a close fight. That's a hard one, but I think Miller is scrappy enough to win it. Uh, maybe submission. But that, I mean, I'm not going to put no money on that. That's a tight fight. All right, now to the main card for the pay-per-view. Hermes Franca versus Tyson Griffin. I believe Tyson Griffin has enough to win this fight. I always think Hermes Franca is a little undersized at this weight, at 155. And I think Tyson Griffin, he's not too big at 155 either, but still, I give him the edge. He's more experienced and probably decision here because he's not a real big finisher, but uh, he'd probably grind it out. Uh, Josh Koscheck versus Frank Trigg. Uh, it just seems like a great fight to help build Josh Koscheck back up after losses. So uh, an easy win against uh, Frank Trigg would be great for him right now. And I think that's what he'll get. I think he'll beat Frank Trigg. And it's a, it's a name. It's, it's not a fighter like he used to be, but he has a good name still. And it's still a, a you know, good win. It's maybe, you know, maybe he's like in the top 20, but uh, he has a bigger name than his actual fighting career as it is currently. Uh, Paul Daly versus Martin Kempman. Um, Paul Daly is great on the feet, but on the ground he shows just a lack of any knowledge of the ground game, and I think that's where Martin will get him. He'll submit him, I believe. So yeah, I'm going with uh, Kempman. Uh, Paul Daly, though, is an exciting fighter, and I'd like to see more fights from him. Uh, maybe paired against guys who don't know as much on the ground game, or maybe guys that like to stand. You know, like an Anthony Johnson or something. Marcus Davis. That'd be fun for a Paul Daly fight. Alright, Junior Dos Santos versus Mirko Krokop. First off, I think Mirko has lost it. I don't think Krokop is the same as he was. I think after that first UFC in the stint, we're going to keep on seeing him kind of do the same not do that great but not do that good and just kind of steady the course I think Junior Dos Santos can take him here I think he'll win uh, it's just Krokop is too confident in his stand up and he he has holes even there in his best in his best uh, arena he has holes you know I mean you just can't all set up everything on the giant leg kick it's, it's great to watch I love the leg kick it's an awesome move but uh I see Saint Santos winning, but I mean, if Krokop makes a comeback and starts, uh, you know, taking stuff more seriously in the UFC, I'm all for it. I really would like to see that. I'm not a hater. Uh, Victor Belfort versus Rich Franklin. This is such a hard one to call because these fighters are totally different in the way that Rich Franklin is very, very consistent. You know, Rich Franklin, I think he comes out pretty much always the same. He is kind of scrappy, he has good stand-up, decent enough ground game, 
uh, and it's always it, it never wavers with him. He always tries his best and goes out there and puts on a show. And then you got Victor Belfort, who is just he's like this. He has these huge ups and downs, and you don't know how long you could ride him for wins until he's going to let you down and give you a loss. But I love Victor Belfort. Uh, Victor. Victor Belfort. And uh, he's a great guy. And he has a sad story with his sister getting kidnapped and everything. Um, I'm going to go with Belfort. Just because I think he's back on the winning uh, swing. And I think Rich Franklin, although he's consistent, he's kind of stagnant. He's been stagnant for a while now. So, yeah. Look for Belfort to win this one. I don't know if he could finish Franklin, but maybe a decision. Maybe finish Franklin. I'm not. Franklin has a pretty decent chin. I mean, you know, he gets kneed to death by Anderson Silva, and everyone, everyone thinks he's weak or something, but nah, he still has a good chin. So this probably, probably will go to the decision, I think. But yeah, this is a decent card. It's okay. It's, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't really like this card. I, I do think it's smarter than to show those uh, fights on the free card of, I don't know, Spike TV to get people to bite at this whole uh, card as a whole and latch on and watch it, but none of these, I mean, the main event is pretty good, but all the secondary fights after that are just kind of weak, but yeah, that's my opinion. Hopefully, maybe they prove me wrong. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but in this area where I'm filming, I kind of rearranged everything for my other picks, my UFC 19 fight night picks, and uh, so just for fun, for people who uh, are into my MMA predictions, I thought I'd just go ahead and do that, and you could just look at both videos and pick out stuff that you see that's different in both videos, it's, it's just for fun, why not, you know, I like to try to think outside the box, and maybe this is worth it, maybe it wasn't, yeah. But I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. And yeah. Yeah. Bunker for president. Damn straight.